Hi, I'm Museum Associate Joanna Evajowdy, and here's your hint for today's unboxing. This designer was known for being a bit shocking. If you guessed who is Elsa Scaparelli, then you get 200 points on the board. And today we're going to be looking at two pieces from her fall-winter 1939-1940 collection, which is really the height of her career. So let's see what they are. This jacket is in Scaparelli's signature Shocking Pink, which was also the name of her 1937 perfume. When deciding on the name, she decided the color should also be, quote, life-giving, like all the light and the birds and the fish in the world put together. Let's take a look at some of the elements of the jacket. It's made of men's necktie silk, and I want to point out this beautiful green here. It's really vibrant. The press called it a phosphorescent green. It also has these plastic buttons with metallic filigree in the center. These embroidered flowers are morning glories, which at the outbreak of World War II symbolized both anxiety and hope. You'll see that they are climbing up the pinstripes in a trompe l'oeil fashion, which was a design element Scaparelli utilized quite often. This is the catalog from the Costume Institute's 2012 exhibition, Scaparelli and Prada, Impossible Conversations. And in it, you see a 1928 photograph of Scaparelli herself wearing one of her first creations, a trompe l'oeil knitted sweater. We acquired the pink jacket in 2010, and six years later, we received a generous gift of a similar design from the same winter 1939-1940 season. So this textile is also pinstriped, this time with velvet, which you can see here. And in addition to embroidery, it has this glorious uh, beading. Uh, Scaparelli worked really closely with textile manufacturers. It was a really important aspect of her design. This collection, and the jacket in particular, received quite a bit of press. It introduced Scaparelli's cigarette silhouette, a long, slim line. Here is the jacket featured in the Harper's Bazaar November 1939 issue in a photograph by George Hoenigan Hune. The model is standing in front of a Raoul Dufy fabric by Bianchini. This is that same issue of Harper's Bazaar November 1939 and in a feature called The Hands of Paris we see our designer Elsa Scaparelli alongside the jacket. And I love that we get to notice how it was styled with these beautiful bow gloves.